Hey you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come on here and talk about this situation that's going down in Dothan, Alabama. And I want to go ahead and shout out Jarvis Green. He's one of the first ones to send me this story and it's really, really disturbing. So what's going down is that basically the police department down there in Dothan had been accused and basically blasted by the news media and by other police officers. Saying that there's basically a group of crooked cops down there who have been basically planting false evidence on black males. So they've been planting them with drugs, guns, and everything else. Um, it started in the mid 90s from like 1996 upwards and a lot of these guys were charged went to prison some are still in prison till this day i want you guys to go ahead and check out this news clip and i'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary since the mid-1990s members of a narcotics investigation squad for the police department in dothan alabama have been planning drugs and weapons on young black men with the approval of their superiors one of whom is andy hughes who currently serves as the state's assistant director of homeland security at the time he was a leader in a neo-confederate group and his supervisor Stephen Parrish was also a member of the group. Parrish was a lieutenant at the time and he currently serves as the city's police chief. Documents have been released revealing corruption against young black men in the Dothan County Police Department dating as far back as 1996. Here to join me is Emmy Award winning legal analyst and news decoder Lionel of Lino Media. Now Lionel, how does something like this happen? It happens through a systematic cancer and keep in mind, this isn't the usual police corruption. This isn't a cop on the take. This isn't a cop going violent. This is the systematic and deliberate targeting of African Americans and minorities by a police force who are apparently doing this by virtue of a desire to frame a particular demographic. This transcends any type of police misconduct that we normally see. And it's years and years of not only looking the other way, but apparently actually being a part of the very cancer itself. It knows no peer. All right, so you guys just watched that disturbing news clip. This whole situation to me just makes no sense. It's a shame and it just proves to you that law enforcement is not always right. I'm not shocked by this at all. Stuff like this has been going on since the beginning of time, since when the police department first was created. You know, they were always pinning things on a lot of innocent black people. You know, so my thing is this, okay, what's done is done. How do they plan on rectifying the situation? Now that these guys have been caught out, there's evidence. You know, they're saying that some of these guys are in prison. Some of these guys went to prison. They may be out. So I want to know how they plan on rectifying the situation. They should also be reimbursed and paid money for time that they had to serve for a crime that they did not commit. And if there's guys who are still in prison based on these false testimonies and these false ac accusations, they should be let out of prison and also paid as well. You know, I noticed that they're not talking about how they're going to rectify the situation they're basically talking about what the hell happened I'm not surprised about this happening because it's happening all over the country where police officers are planting things on innocent people just to fill a quota just to get more people in prisons and everything else because people need to realize that the prison system the jail system it's an economy it's an economy for some of these small towns it's an economy here in the US so if people are not going to jail and if people are not filling up those jail cells then these officers are not getting paid you know what I'm saying? You have to continuously keep these cells filled up with guilty people or innocent people. It does not matter. You have to keep them filled up because for every person that's in one of those bunk beds, that's in one of those dormitories in a prison, that's a check per person. So I'm not surprised at all that innocent people are having things planted on them and being sent to prison. But like I said, I want to know how they plan on rectifying this situation with all these innocent people who literally had their lives ruined. website henrycountyreport.com claims Dothan officers have in the past planted drugs on young black men then arrested those men. This type of crap. The author? A man known as John Carroll. And it burns me up when people like this get on the internet and they run their mouth about the things that we're doing wrong and have absolutely nothing to base it on. Carroll is the same blogger who recently reported an Ozark police officer killed two Dothan teenagers 16 years ago. Where, where did that come from? 
Okay, where did it go? It didn't go anywhere. The report was later recanted by a relative of one of the victims. We're going to go on there now Carroll cites that. old documents and claims of Dothan police wrongdoing. Perry says those documents show nothing amiss. I want to ask Mr. Carroll to put your money where your mouth is and give me some names. Bring some people forward. Somebody who's had drugs planted on them. The article claiming wrongdoing or cover-up on the part of Parrish, other officers, and even District Attorney Doug Valeska. I've put 500 people in jail for drugs in my career. I've never had a complaint against me. Parrish saying internet chatter has generated media calls to him from around the world. The chief saying it's sad that people would pay attention to a man that Parrish says lacks what any credibility in his happened. recent claim. If, if you, I welcome any federal agency, the United States Attorney's Office, the Department of Justice, the President himself can come down here and look at everything we've got. Now, Chief Parrish tells me he did not initially want to respond, but felt like he had to respond to the allegations, but says he regrets having to bring attention to the website that he considers spewing propaganda. Devin? All right. So anyways, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. How do you guys feel about this situation? Are you shocked to hear that this has happened? Or is this something that you guys have always known about and you guys are not shocked about it? So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.